Good day and welcome to another exciting, nerve-wracking, gut-wrenching episode of Brains on the Go. My name is Nogwazi Lamini. It's getting tougher and tougher. We have nine more students left. Last week saw us saying goodbye to Smilo Zwane from Mbugwane High School, who is going to be leaving us today. A huge thank you to our principals for, for allowing our teachers and students to come and join us on Brains on the Go. Who is going to leave us today? Samo, take it away. Good luck, guys. Be composed. Let's get these brains going. Thank you, Nogwazi. Welcome, viewers at home. It's still Brains on the Go. It's episode 13. Um, last week, we saw a student uh, leaving, and she was in the top 10. Now, we have the top 9. Dear Lenaz, you look beautiful. Um, I am Miss Mjali, your host. Uh, with me is Nomtobo Mgomezulu, Miss Pumzile, Jamini, Mrs. Kelly Spia, uh, Miss, Mrs. Hawotwane Jamini, as well as Mr. Chwanis Masilela. We, ha- we wouldn't be able to host uh, this show this year if it were not for Macmillan Education, Eswatini, as well as KFC and Premier. Thank you for sponsoring the show. Dear Lenaz, I know you have the strength to fight. That is why you are in the, top, in the top nine. Please make sure you do that, even you continue fighting, even in this episode. Okay. Let us start. It is Bible questions again. And I know it is since it is the first uh, part in this episode. Sorry, it is not Bible questions. It's animal nutrition. You are going to state whether the following food sources are proteins, fats, or carbohydrates. Is that easy for you? Will that be easy for you? You think so? Okay. My example is fish. Answer, protein. Yours, Eliza, is beans. Proteins. Correct. Delamsile. Sunflower seeds. Sunflower feed, seeds, sorry. Is it proteins, fats, or carbohydrates? Sunflower seeds. Fats. Correct. Smanga. Eggs. It is a... Carbohydrates. Eggs. You say carbohydrates. Yes. Incorrect. It's protein. Sugar cane. Gosenke. Sugar cane. Yes. I think it is fat. I'm sorry. It's carbohydrates. Bandile. Cheese. Cheese is fat. Correct. Vuyo. Spaghetti. Carbohydrate. Correct. Gulego. Honey. Carbohydrate. Correct. Vanilla. Potatoes. Carbohydrate. Correct. Satabila. Oranges. Can I have the options again? Is it carbohydrates, fats, or protein? <sighs> carbohydrates. Correct. Viewers at home, there was the end of part one, round one. Tell them, how was 
this round it was easy it was easy yes are you going to get your answer right now correct i hope so you hope so okay it's part 1 round 2 the instruction where are we likely to hear the following expressions being said places where they say these following expressions when they say objection there is my example who knows where you can hear people saying that objection go sentle on court in court thank you my dear that is the answer so that is what i expect from you telamsile yours is I have no more questions my lord I have no more questions my lord Court Correct Simanga On the third day he rose again On the third day he rose again At churches during the Good Friday service Correct Yours is it's a corner cake it's a corner cake corner cake so <laughs> correct yours is at your own risk at your own risk a place yes I think he uh, Can I have a clue? It's your own risk. Can I Uh signs Signs. Yes. Maybe when crossing the road the car is coming and then no, no. it's not that on parking uh, places or on uh, in parcel where we put our parcels we call it a parcel room you you do it at your own risk you leave your stuff at your own risk you park your car at your own risk i am so uh, i'm sorry bandil vuyo yours is open day It's an open day. Um maybe in school. Correct. Gulego, yours is keep left pass right. Where do you usually see those? Where do we find it? Keep left pass right. Keep left pass right. Yes. Any clue? No, I'm sorry. Why are you looking at me like that? It's like you are saying you are so mean. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't give it to you. If I try I'll be giving you the answer. But you give the other one. No. This one is not easy. I'm sorry. Oh, you are unfair. And then the question. It's keep left, pass right. Keep left. Car. Car. Yes. That is my clue. Oh, on the way go. The car goes. Okay, the... your answer should be when driving on roads, but I am going to give it to you. You are welcome. Sinile. Point of order, your honorable. Point of order, your honorable. point of order they will say when they are talking point of order your honorable it will be said by by someone where of course i can't say it here you will be surprised when i say that 
but somewhere it is their language. Point of order, your honorable. I'm sorry, it's time in parliament. Members of parliament will say that. So, Tabila, please smile. <laughs> Thank you. Where, are you, uh, where will you hear people saying to have and uh, to hold? Um, a wedding celebration. Correct. Eliza, where would you see this? Read the following instructions. On a test paper or exam. Correct. That is the end of round two in part one. Round three, we are still in part one of episode 12, 13. Sorry. It is about the apostles in the Bible. You are going to state whether the statement is true or false about that apostle. Smanga yours is Paul was beheaded. Is it true or false? Paul was beheaded. Beheaded. Yes. As in his head was cut off. Paul. Yes. Paul was beheaded. Can Whoa. I make my can I explain something as well? It is about how the apostles died, their fate. Okay. How they died. Manga was Paul beheaded because we have had empty time to think. Paul, can I give you another one? Sorry, was Peter beheaded? False, correct. He was what? How did he die? Peter, yes. <laughs> I don't remember. You don't remember, yes, but, but you, uh, you, I remember, you know. I remember him denying Jesus. Okay. <laughs> then he was crucified, this manga. Okay. Oh, yes. Because Andrew, he was crucified. Andrew, he was crucified. False. I'm sorry, it's correct. Bandile, Thomas, he was pierced through with spears. He was pierced through with spears. By who? I don't know. <laughs> but when they killed him. <laughs> no, he committed suicide. <laughs> no, he didn't. He, he, indeed, he was pierced by using spears. Vuyong? Philip was executed. Was? Executed. What does it mean? Hanged to death. Was Philip hanged to death? The question is, you answer with true or false. Whether the statement is true or false. I think it's true. Correct. Gulego? Matthew was stabbed to death for his Christian beliefs. He was stabbed to death. Can you repeat it for me? Matthew was stabbed to death for his Christian beliefs. I think it's a true. Correct. Yours, Penile, is Patalomium. Was thrown into the sea. But I love you. I think it's false. Correct. 
He died as a martyr. Okay. So Tabila. James, he was stoned for the gospel. He was stoned. False. It's actually true. Eliza. John died a natural death. John died a natural death. Like he just died. Yes. I think it's true. Correct. Tell him, Sila. Matthias was burned to death. Matthias was burned to death. True. Correct. Viewers at home then marks the end of part one. Let us take a quick break. Welcome back viewers, you're still watching a certain television, it's, a, it's Friends on the Go, uh, season 14. It's part 2 of episode 13. Um, learners, in round 1, you are expected to create nouns from the following words. Create nouns from the following words. My example is shoot, which is a verb. And a noun that I created from shoot is shooter or shooting. Okay. Yours, who is starting us off? Gosenche is break. B R E A K. Break. A breaker. Correct. Bandile, yours is strange. A stranger. Correct. Vuyo, yours is stand, as I am standing. Stand. Uh, just stand up. Uh. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. It's a stand. Uh, something they use, yes. Something like that. Something they use to put something on top, okay? Like the cameras. Gulego. Populate. Populate. P O P U L A T. Populate. I'm sorry, it's population. Sinile, yours is sprint. It's a sprint. Correct. Setabile. Sinile, sorry, can I ask you something? What is a sprinter? Someone who runs fast. Are you one? No. What sport are you doing at school? You are a cave. I don't want to say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Probably you, you, you are one of the members in any other social club. Do you have clubs in your school? Okay, so Tabila. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beauty. Correct. Eliza. Hate. Hate. 
hate. Yes. H A T E. Correct. Hating. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. It's hater or hatred. Tell I'm still, eh? Hill. Hill. H E A L. H, please write it down. H E A L. Hill. Hila. Correct. Manga? School. Escola. Correct. That was the end of round one in part two. This is the last round in this episode. Part two, round two. So, Swati questions once again, dear learners. Kaza le tendo le tilanze la go gutsiti show ni. Nitagnega sendo le sitsite, unkaze le gutsisi shoni, sibone lo sami, gunge belega, mban lo wati go gutsi gushoni gunge belega. Eliza? Gushogu pumula. Gushogu pumula, ushale unetetege, bandile. Yini gushulungana, gushulungana. Abangukuthi ku ngajabuli kwada nayi Yini ngukwada Cha ke kuhamba ngesicumbi nibutheni in your language bange bane migrushana yabo nje ubabona sebahamba ngale migrushana yabo buyo kwetfalana Kabanguti Kusitan Kugasa, Gulego Gunkinella Wentani Gunkinella Gunkinella Yes, the Gunkinella Angiva Gunkinella Usalan Grinella Anga to put some Grinella in Kepanjo Usalan Grinella Hi, get good. I look on a cat to sing. You got to look in shop. Go for so selling green ale and Jim Apilis as sugar. Greenly go back all sorry. Good leg go back all like greenly. Come out to Kwenda kutsi magonem lilo umakutu ya vute la wenda uti kufute kakulu ufagu moya Kukase Eliza Ubugegu ngagachu abuli Hey <laughs> Sina ni suwati saku Iba hasi kutata nchede kuhu I remember so Luva Tela, <laughs> Smanga, <laughs> are you giving me the answer? You bet me the in Leo's man. Pushega. Pushega, Kunu. Yes. Kugase, 
ngosenhle kungatsita kungatsita yebo uthi mawufuna kwenda indlo uphela ku uthi bamba kosi ngayende kinze ufuna iphindze ngayende ukahle kungathatha isinqumo masinyane viewers at home then marks the end of part 2 of episode 13 let us take a break and then it will be the elimination round I do believe that brains on the go do change students lives because um it's very good for any person and especially children to be recognized cinema customer language wekuthi sengisa Streetwise 3 yathamba nel coffee bese utfole ingomishi lebhalwe KFC mahala i drive through here for very fast 2 and a half minutes ukuba sonitholile le order lakho bese ufakshele sokukhululeka welcome back viewers of Eswatini TV you are still watching friends on the go It is the elimination round. It is time for us to say goodbye to one of the learners. Smanga. Smanga. If I were to to, to tell you that you are the one living today, what would you do? Uh, I I don't know. Maybe I could cry. Maybe. Yes. Why? It's, it's very painful. But as we began the the competition, I told you that it is a competition and indeed we are bound to have losers. Right? Yes. So why would you cry then? I don't think I can just easily accept and move on. But you have Two. Tell me, Sile. I have two. Sorry, you are going through. Tell me, Sile. What can you say on behalf of the other learners to the teachers and your head teachers back at school? I uh, would like to thank them for giving us this opportunity. Okay. What's that, sir? A word of advice to the one leaving us today. Well, I will say winners never quit and quitters never win so the fact that we once a participants of Brandon on the goals that means there is definitely something big that is forward to you thank you ngosanhle um bandile as ngosanhle said that uh, the fact that you are a participant here it means that friends on the goal saw something in you That is why they picked you and you really brave the battle and that is why you managed to be in the top 9 Losing to date doesn't mean that it is the end of the road for you you have to continue fighting in other in other competitions So good luck with your future endeavors from us as brains on the go we love you and we are really proud of you viewers at home then marks the end of episode 13, 13. see you next week goodbye 
You are still tuned in on Brains on the Go on Eswatini TV. Right now, I am sitting with Bandi Lezwane, who has just been eliminated on episode 13. How are you feeling, Bandi? Uh, I feel guilty. You feel guilty? What's making you so guilty? Uh, because when I left home, I promised my mom that I'm going to win, but now I've lost. You made a promise and now you feel like... Eh. I've broken it. You th- do you think you did yourself proud now that you reached this level? I'm proud that I was able to become number 9 out of 29. 21. Winners. Yes. That's a huge achievement, right? In Loifunzi Legule experience ever since episode 1 up until now in episode 13. I learned that uh, <coughs> no one is perfect, you know. Mm-hmm. Only you, you must only trust God. Yes. Because it's God who works and helps you. Okay. All right. Uh, what was the most difficult question for you? If you can remember that question, what was the most difficult question ever since you started uh, this show? This question... Yes. What was it? Zamagui Kumbul. Oh, the question says, do it at your own risk. Oh, at your own risk. Yes. Okay. That question, that question was very unfair. It was unfair? It was very unfair. Why do you think it was unfair? Uh, you can do anything at your own risk. It mm. can be anyway. Not in the, in the car park only. Oh, I think I think when you are parking, you must be careful. I think it had that thing in it. When I also go Waiboga in the huge sense of it, don't you think? Any answer was was possible. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. If you feel that way, have you made friends in this uh, during this whole experience for you? Oh, yeah. <coughs> they are not friends, but I think they'll be friends in the near future. They're not friends yet? Yes. Okay, but they'll be your friends in the near future? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Yes. We hope so for you. What would you like to, what advice would you like to give uh, your future friends? <laughs> uh, they shall continue hustling. Okay. And if they lose like me, you should carry on. Okay. That's yes. It. That's the advice we are going to give to you. You should carry on. Do not give up. There's a lot of opportunities that are ahead of you, and we wish you all the best on those. Okay. Before yes. I let you go, there's a lovely, lovely package from Macmillan Eswatini that they want you to go home with. What would you like to say to Macmillan Education Eswatini? Can I? You want to open it? Yes, you can look. Oh, thank you very much. I can see a book. You can see a book? Yes. Okay, oh. what else? Especially, I like the book because I love reading. You love reading. So I'm going to read it. Maybe I'm going to benefit something from it. Most definitely. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, good luck with everything that you do and of course have a safe journey home we know that it's really really far we hope that you have a safe journey thank you thank you thank you viewers at home this is episode 13 and Bandi Lezwane has just been eliminated from Jericho High School I am sitting with his teacher right now Mr. Lamini Mr. Lamini how are you feeling about the fact that Bandile has been eliminated yeah it is so devastating because I was hoping that tomorrow I'll be coming <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm sure every teacher hopes that in every single episode. Yeah, especially because the, uh, the first Monday and Tuesday, I think it was so challenging. The questions were so challenging. Okay. I thought that he would be eliminated then, but he yeah, carried he, on, yeah, he and, carried on yes. and he reached the stage. Yeah. I'm sure he he represented the school very well, and the school is really proud of him. Yeah, he represented the school very, very well. And what I liked about him is the composure he had. Yes. He is having, you know, he's a very composed uh, individual, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. How was your, your experience on behalf of him as uh, from the beginning of the show until now? My experience is, this is the first of its kind for me. 
have been watching this uh, program in the past years. Yes. So to me it was exciting to be here. Yes. It is a very very good experience also awesome experience I think it will go a long way even in my own experience in uh-huh. life yeah. Okay. As you were realizing that Mandela is, is is not doing really really well, um what was going through your emotions? What was happening in you? I know that you are a motivational speaker. Were you motivating yourself <laughs> through during the whole Yeah, thing? especially yesterday. I thought <coughs> I think today it was a bonus actually because I thought yes, yesterday it was a, it was a little bit awkward Bandile. Bandile. Okay. Bandile actually. Oh, it's Bandile. Yes, Bandile is okay. one his name. Yeah. So yesterday I think the boy was a little bit down. Uh-huh. He was like disoriented, so I had, during the break I had to talk to him okay. that he must pull up his socks. I think that is what made him to succeed. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is there any word of advice that you like to give to those that are, uh, are still going to go on to other episodes? Yeah, I think uh, the advice I can say the you must always be open-minded, work hard, mm-hmm. think outside the box, and you must be a person who is willing to take any challenge. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you so much, sir, Thank for your time. You. Have a safe journey home. Thank you. Viewers at home, that brings us to the end of episode 13. Join us next week when we find out who is going to be eliminated. This is Brains on the Go. My name is Nogwasi Lamini. Have a good day.